This is the tale of Mr. Clawless. A crayfish who is missing one claw. And his best friend in the entire world, Emily the Unicorn. Who also lives in the same beautiful lily pond. This is not an ordinary lily pond, however. Because deep in the pond, there is a wizarding book. Which gives the pond magical properties. Books don't belong in pond. But this book fell in the pond years ago. And enchanted all who lived there. Meanwhile, up, up on land, land there, there lives a powerless wizard named Cosmo who dropped his wizarding book in the pond years ago and he is desperately trying to get his book back in order to regain his powers. Mr. Clawless and Emily are guarding this book with their lives because without the book making the pond magical, Emily couldn't live in the little black pond habitat. With her dear best friend, Mr. Clawless. Wizard Cosmo is so angry that Emily took his magic book that a storm came. The clouds were pouring and the thunder scared everyone. And nobody could sleep and there it stormed for a year. Emily and Mr. Clawless fell asleep. Cosmo's storm gets even louder and louder. Emily hears something and wants to go outside and see it. She puts the magic book on her bed and peeks through the window. She sees the storm and gets scared. She goes back to sleep and hugs the magic book. Emily couldn't sleep. She tries to think of rainbows and, hap and fun happy days when the weather was nice. She tried and tried to sleep, but she couldn't. Emily tried to wake Mr. Clawless, but he was still asleep. She got out of bed and made a drink. Then when she got back in bed, she fell asleep. Quietly, while Emily and Mr. Clawless were asleep, Cosmo grabbed his magic book from Emily. Then Cosmo started to run away, but then he remembered that he could fly. Soon Cosmo was soaring over the tips of mountains with his magic broom that could only be summoned with his magic book. Ha ha ha, no one will catch me now. With, with the power of my magic book, I will rule the world and make only my home clean. And that wretched unicorn, oh it shall become what it used to be, an ugly brown horse. Mr. Clawless and Emily woke up after a long and relaxing nap. Ah, Mr. Clawless exclaimed. He was now pretty relaxed and ready to have a fun day with Emily. But something was wrong. Emily wasn't there. It was just a brown spotted horse staring at him. Mr. Clawless, is everything okay? The brown spotted horse exclaimed. It sounded like Emily, or is it Emily? Emily, why are you a horse? Mr. Clawless feels weak because of the pollution. Then Emily tries to protect the pond, but she can't because that's too much magic. But she still, he but she can still heal Mr. Clawless and some of the other fish. So she tries that and it doesn't work. But she can still heal Mr. Clawless. How should we get the book? Asked Mr. Clawless. Maybe I can use my powers to find him again. Exclaimed Emily. You don't have powers. You're a brown horse, not a unicorn, said Mr. Clawless loudly for the third time. Yes, I do, replied Emily, and I'm going to prove it. I'm going to find him and get back the book. What if we get captured and never see each other again? Please, Emily, let's figure out a plan, Mr. Clawless weakly continued. I will go, Mr. Clawless. You can wait for me here, Emily said. She wanted to get the book by herself and be the hero. She said again, I am a unicorn. Whatever I look like, I am still a unicorn and I have my power. Mr. Cla Mr. Clawless was worried. Emily, you're not a unicorn anymore. You're a brown horse that has no power. It's too dangerous for you to go by yourself, Mr. Clawless said strictly. It was as dark as black. Emily was not scared at all. Mr. Clawless told her not to go outside, but she did anyway. It was the middle of the night. Dun, dun, dun! Cosmo sent griffins to search for Emily and capture her. They searched everywhere, but they couldn't see her. It was because... Emily was galloping too fast and had fallen into a really dark cave but couldn't get out. Emily thought, oh dear, Mr. Clawless, please save me. She thought that she had failed to get the magic book and she was really scared and lonely in that cave. Back at the pond, Mr. Clawless woke up. He was feeling worse because of the pollution from Cosmo, but he didn't see Emily anywhere. 
He shouted her name, but no one came except the grumpy animals that just woke up because of Mr. Claus. Now he knew Emily went to fight Cosmo and get the book back. Then he went looking for Emily. He looked for hours, but he didn't find her. Then he saw the cave. As Mr. Clawless walked to the cave, he was scared to see the griffins, but the griffins didn't harm him. Mr. Clawless finds Emily in the cave. They are so happy to see each other. Mr. Clawless bravely pinched Cosmo on the cheek. Cosmo cried out, Ow! Mr. Clawless pitched, pitched the book and oh. him Emily. They throw the book back in the pond and Emily becomes a unicorn again. But the pond is still polluted. Cosmo sits alone crying. He misses his best friend Emily and he misses his favourite book. Cosmo decides to help Emily and Mr. Clawless. He takes the griffins to the pond and plants special plants to help drain the pollution away. Cosmo wakes up in the middle of the night and realizes what he did. Next, he dropped to the pond and thinks that the mess was too big to clean up with his own two hands. He needed help! Suddenly, Cosmo remembers when he tried to capture Emily and Mr. Clawless with the griffins. After that, he makes a net from magic to scoop up the garbage. Cosmo sends the griffins to help him get all the trash out of the pond. The griffins pull really hard and the trash is out. Hooray, shouts Cosmo. We should wake the others and let them see, whispered Cosmo. Cosmo wakes Emily and asks her to have a tea party. She agrees. We will have macaroons, cookies, and tea, crackers, and cheese, too. When it was time for the tea party, they noticed that the trees were so colorful. They also saw food that they've never seen before, including cloud cakes, rainbow gummies, and magic flower petals. Cosmo felt sad. He decided to give a gift. He gave Emily and Mr. Clawless Unikitty and Puppycorn to make the world good. This, this tea, tea party is awesome. They all cheered. They, they feel happy now. Cosmo has learned from his friends how important it is to take care of the earth. If everyone takes care of the earth, it will have green grass, green trees, and blue skies. It will be a better place. Cosmo, Emily, and Mr. Clawless all live happily in the beautiful blue pond. <laughs>